pump fittings. That's gonna go over the top. Pump circulation. You can see the flow is getting a little more intense, right? No leaks. Time to put some water in this bad boy. So we're good to go. So I'm putting the board down. I'm gonna put some foam neoprene down on this to put the tank on just in case there's any unevenness. Let's take a look at the tanks real quick because it could be the last time we're seeing them this way. Tom Reefer Studio going through lots of changes. There it is, guys. I'm gonna level with shims. The key is to have the outer edges firm. See what I got going here. I'm putting it right out to the edge of the plywood with the foam neoprene under it. And then I'm gonna cut this section off. It's on the money this way, but it's this way that it's a little off. See, we can start filling it now. You guys had to at least see the first splash. This is RODI, five gallons. I'm not even gonna call it a leak check. There's no leaks in this. So it's going to be fed by, this is a long process, guys. I'm making the RODI as I fill it. I only make five gallons at a time and then I dump it. So this is 15 gallons in here right now. We're getting there, guys. It took me from Sunday afternoon till yesterday to fill the tank up. I'm gonna go with the Heiger, guys. What I did is I went to Home Depot and I got a piece of three quarter inch inside dimension. That's gonna go over the top. Now bear in mind, this is submersible, so it doesn't have to be so completely sealed. And I'm forcing that down inside. There's no way that's ever gonna come out. And then this will go up to the return. The return is half inch thread. That's gonna get threaded in here. This is considered a half inch bulkhead. What that means is the inside diameter is half inch. The outside, is an inch and a quarter. So that's why I drilled an inch and a half hole in the acrylic. I'm gonna cut this, it's gonna get fit like this. All right, we have flow. As you can see here, it's coming over the top. I'm going to add a little bit more water. This is what I was telling you about, the testing aspect of it. What I did with the inside and to direct the flow in there a bit, I cut off a piece of the Ciche outlet on an extra piece I had. When the pump is circulating, the system flow creates this distance. This is at 30% right now. I also have an elbow. This is just temporary, facing down. I was afraid that if I had it shoot straight out, it may splash all over the place. You can see where it's flowing over here. All right, so I'm gonna mess with the flow and I'll come right back to you. There it is. That's 50% right now. So you can see how at a higher flow rate, it's pushing the water through quicker. Quick look before I go get more water. Sweet bubbles and air bubbles are gone. You don't want that going down into your pump because then it obviously is just going to suck them back out into your water. There's very limited noise coming over. Now I'm going to try to up the flow and see what happens. At 50, you can see the flow is getting a little more intense, right? If I put that in the other direction out there, that's going to be nice. Put a wave maker here just to keep this area so it doesn't become a dead zone. Keep things flowing through here. 50 gallon bag. You're getting it real time, guys. I'm gonna put this right in the area where the flow is. The salt displaces the water, so it raises up. Check out this dinosaur, guys. This aqua clear, probably 20 years old. So I'm gonna stick that in there. When I do this in a 15 gallon container, to mix salt, it moves the water all over the place. Here, it's not even making a dent. All right. I 
just added this nozzle. It spreads the water out down in that direction. I think that's going to do it. Now, just running the flow along the bottom to loosen up some of the salt that was stuck. Then I'll just lay it down here. See what I did here? I saw some white pieces of uh, acrylic floating around and some black shavings, probably from the, I don't know. I just saw stuff floating around. So I'm just keeping this in here temporary to collect anything that may drift over so it doesn't go down and through the pump. By the way, listen to the sound. It's going to work out well, guys. Not much noise at all.